tonight. Our aged care workers are set for a pay rise. Age rise is on the way for 250,000 frontline aged care workers. A seismic shift in aged care. In today's video, we'll be discussing an important announcement in the field of aged care nursing. We'll be exploring the 15% increase to award wage rates for aged care workers that will take effect from the 30th of June 2023. This increase in pay is designed to reward, attract, and retain clinical skills among registered nurses and other nurses. If you're a nurse or interested in healthcare, this is definitely something you don't want to miss. Hello lovely nurses, this is Nurse Rowie and today we're taking a closer look at the pay increase that was announced by the government in May 2023 to recognize and reward the invaluable contributions of registered nurses in aged care settings. This budget aims to elevate the quality of older Australians and empower nurses in their roles. The increase is the response from the government to chronic staff shortage in Australia. Hindi madali ang trabaho sa aged care, lalo na this past few years dahil sa pandemic. Aged care is overregulated and older Australians are sicker than before. Burnout ang inaabot ng mga staff from support to clinical leaders and the current pay does not reflect the hard work ng mga taong nagtatrabaho sa aged care setting. So who the increase applies to? The increase applies to direct care employees working in aged care. Direct care employees are those who work in caring roles in the following award classifications. Number one, aged care award, personal care workers and recreation lifestyle activities officer. Number two, nurses award, nursing assistants, enrolled nurses, registered nurses, nurse practitioners working in aged care. And number three is from SCHADS award, home care workers working in aged care. Now, who the increase doesn't apply to? The 15% increase doesn't include other employees in aged care sector. These include support and administrative employees, chefs and cooks covered by the aged care ward who aren't the most senior food service employee at a particular aged care facility or site. So how much will aged care workers get? The government approved aged care workers to receive the following pay rises. For registered nurses, they will get paid an extra 196 a week or more than 10,000 a year rise. For enrolled nurses, they will get extra 145.54 a week or more than 7,500 a year. For assistant in nursing on a level 3 award wage, will be paid an extra 136 a week or more than 7,100 a year. For a personal care worker in a level 4 or a home care worker in a level 3, will be paid an extra 141 a week or more than 7,300 a year. A recreational activity officer on a level 3 will be paid an extra 139 a week or more than 7,200 a year. A head chef or cook on a level 4 will be paid an extra 141 a week or more than 7,300 a year. A staff member with a Certificate 3 qualification moves from earning only $940 per week to $1,082. The additional payment funded by the government has several significant benefits, not only to existing registered nurses here in Australia, but also to international nurses who are planning to move and work in aged care. This fund that was budgeted by the government to aged care workers is related to the new funding rules in aged care that aims to improve the staffing issues in this industry. How is that related to international nurses, you ask? Simple. The government is not giving the money for nothing in return. They now expect aged care providers to ensure that there are enough RNs, ENs, and carers working on the floor in line with the money they are receiving. So ngayon, aged care providers are in desperate need of supply of nurses. In my practice dito sa Australia, ngayon ko lang nakita ang taas ng demand ng mga aged care providers for more nurses. To the point that a lot of them are willing to sponsor carers to study nursing. How good is that? I am super excited about this news for our nurses who aspire to live and work here in Australia. And that's a wrap for today's video on the Australian government's budget for aged care nurses. This will have a big impact in aged care sector as a whole. We need more quality nurses and I believe that international nurses should be encouraged to apply by better opportunities given to them. If you're an aspiring nurse who wants to work in aged care, I encourage you to explore this opportunity further and see if this is the chance that you are waiting for. 
Thank you for watching. If you are interested in this kind of video and it's a life ng Pinoy like me living here in Australia, please consider subscribing to my channel. And remember to take control and create the life you love. I will see you on the next one. Bye!